Google just dropped something wild. It's called anti-gravity. And when you combine it with Claude code, it's like having an entire dev team working for you. I'm talking planning, coding, testing, all done by AI agents while you watch. This is the craziest AI coding combo I've seen. And I'm about to show you exactly how it works. Let's dive in. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. All right, so here's what's happening right now in the AI coding world. Google just launched something called Anti-Gravity on November 18, 2025. It's not just another code editor, it's a full AI agent IDE that uses their new Gemini 3 Pro model to actually plan, execute, and validate code for you. Think of it like this. Instead of you writing every line of code, you have AI agents that work semi-autonomously across your entire project. They can access your editor, your terminal, even an integrated browser. And here's where it gets insane. When you combine anti-gravity with Claude code, which runs on Anthropic's Claude Opus 4.5, you get the best of both worlds. Gemini handles the planning and orchestration. Claude handles the actual code execution and generation. It's like having a project manager and a senior developer working together, except they're both AI. Anti-gravity is Google's new agent-first IDE. Instead of just giving code suggestions, it runs autonomous agents that complete entire tasks. These agents create task lists, take screenshots, and work while you do other things. It supports Windows, macOS, and Linux. Claude Code is Anthropic's coding environment you access through your terminal. It generates code, debugs problems, and creates entire project structures. The latest version runs on Claude Opus 4.5, and it's incredibly good at coding tasks. Why combine them? Because each one covers the other's weaknesses. Anti-gravity is amazing at planning and coordinating. Claude code is better at actually writing complex code with fewer bugs. The hybrid workflow used Gemini for planning, Claude code for execution, anti-gravity for testing. Let me show you what this looks like in practice. Let's say I want to build a new landing page for the AI Profit Boardroom. I want it to convert visitors, show the amazing value of AI automation, and explain all the benefits of our community to get more customers, leads, and traffic. Here's how I'd use this combo. First, I open anti-gravity and give it the high-level task. I tell it, create a landing page for AI Profit Boardroom that focuses on conversion, highlights community benefits, and uses modern design principles. Anti-gravity's Gemini agent breaks this down into a task list. It says, create file structure, design hero section, build features list, add testimonial section, create CTA buttons, set up responsive styling, test on multiple devices. That's the planning phase done in seconds. Now here's where it gets interesting, right? For each of those tasks, I can choose which tool executes it. For the file structure and basic setup, I use Claude code. I open my terminal, run Claude code, and paste the requirements. It creates all the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files I need. Clean structure, proper naming conventions, everything organized. This happens in about 30 seconds. Then I switch back to anti-gravity for the visual design work. I, I tell its agent to design the hero section with specific elements, headline about AI automation, sub headline about the community, background gradient, CTA button. The agent uses Gemini to generate the design, creates a preview, and even takes a screenshot so I can see it without switching windows. If I don't like something, I tell it to adjust. The agent iterates until it's right. For the features section, I go back to Claude code because I want custom JavaScript interactions. I describe what I want, a features grid that animates on scroll, highlights different benefits, and links to specific resources. Claude code writes the entire thing, including the animation logic and responsive breakpoints. It even adds comments explaining what each part does. Back to anti-gravity for testing, its browser agent loads the page, tests it on different screen sizes, checks that all links work, and validates the HTML. It creates a report showing what works and what needs fixing. I can see screenshots of every test. This is where anti-gravity really shines because it automates all the tedious testing work. Now, let me tell you the benefits people are seeing. First, you extend your usage limits. By switching between tools strategically, you get more done before hitting walls. Second, reliability goes up. Claude code produces fewer bugs and cleaner code. Third, it feels like having a whole dev team. One tool plans, one codes, one tests. Token limits are another thing. Both tools use tokens for their AI models. Complex projects burn through tokens fast. You need to be strategic about what you ask each tool to do. Don't ask for explanations you don't need. Don't regenerate code that already works. Be efficient with your prompts. 
Model inconsistency happens sometimes. Gemini might suggest one approach and Claude might implement it differently. Usually this isn't a problem, but occasionally you get friction. The way to handle this is to be very specific in your prompts. Tell Clark code exactly what anti-gravity planned. Don't leave room for interpretation. Here's what I recommend for your workflow. Use anti-gravity for planning and project management. Let it break down your tasks, create timelines, organize your work. Use Claude code for actual code generation, especially complex logic or algorithms. Use anti-gravity's agents for testing, validation, and documentation. This division of labor maximizes what each tool is good at. You can also integrate other tools into this workflow. There are MCP servers that add extra capabilities. For example, Test Sprite MCP helps with automated testing. Sonotype MCP helps with dependency security. You plug these into anti-gravity and suddenly your AI dev stack has even more power. Now, is this the future of coding? I think it's a big step in that direction. We're moving from AI that suggests code to AI that actually builds complete features. The role of the developer is shifting. You're becoming more of a director and less of a typist. You define what you want, you orchestrate the tools, you validate the output. The AI does the implementation work. This matters because it changes what's possible. Projects that used to take weeks can now take days. Features that used to require a whole team can be built by one person with the right AI tools. The barrier to building software is dropping fast. Here's what you should do next. If you're a developer, try this combo. Set up anti-gravity, get access to Claude code, and build something real. Don't just test it with toy projects. Build an actual tool or feature you need. That's when you'll see the real power. Pay attention to which tool you use for what tasks. Develop your own workflow patterns. Share what you learn with the community, because this is all so new that best practices are still emerging. If you're not a developer, but you run a business, understand that this technology is going to change how fast and cheap it is to build software. Your competitors might already be using tools like this to ship features faster. You need to either adopt these tools or hire people who know how to use them. And here's something cool. You don't need to be an expert coder to use this effectively. If you understand what you want to build and can describe it clearly, these AI tools can handle a lot of the technical complexity that making software development more accessible. Before we wrap up, I want to mention two things that can help you even more with AI automation. First, if you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like anti-gravity and Claude code, check out the AI Profit Boardroom. We dive deep into practical AI automation that actually works for real businesses. You'll see exactly how to implement these tools to get more customers, leads, and traffic. And if you want the full process, SLPs, and over 100 AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. It's our free AI community. Links are in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. Real people, real results, real help. That's it for today. Try this combo out and let me know what you build with it. Drop a comment below with your experience. And if you found this useful, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI updates. I'll see you in the next one.